should decision of the shareholders be accepted by the management of a company uh, and we are talking in the context of dividend decision but it is applicable to any other decision by a company sir my answer to your question will be like this number one no doubt about it promoters are the one who are in the control of the business they are the ones who are running the business number two promoters are also shareholders number three we have corporate democracy so if the number of shares held by the promoters are less than the number of share shares held by other shareholders then promoters have no choice but to listen to other shareholders because other shareholders they may be uh, spread out they may be thinly spread out all over the country but in today's scenario when you have uh, voting through electronic uh, media mode or when you have a ball postal ballot uh, the promoters have no choice but to listen to the other shareholders but if the promoter shareholders are holding the majority stake uh, with them in that company in that of course uh, they are also shareholders plus they are promoters so they would be able to get away with the decision they would think appropriate for the business so this is how i would answer to your question i hope this answers your doubt right sir since promoters are the biggest shareholder yeah. so they have got the biggest say in the Yes, yes, sir. They they have an upper hand actually. They have an upper hand. Right. They have an upper hand. So they would be able to get away with any decision. But what, but what about sir the minority ma, min, minority, minority share? share. Yeah. Minority share. Okay, minority shareholders. You know, in in 